Hello and welcome. Today is the second Sunday in December and this means it's time for another part of our Christmas special where on each Sunday in December we add a few more iExpressions to the iExpressions library. Today we add five new iExpressions. So this means in total we have now 94 iExpressions in the library and around Christmas it will be even over 100 individual iExpressions in this tool. Okay, today we have two big uh, topics. The first one is audio and the second is movement modifiers with markers. And with the audio, probably you have noticed that we also published another audio related tool a few months ago, and this is the Beat Assistant. And this is like now an alternative approach to working with audio or creating animations uh, in sync with audio compared to the audio bundle that is part of iExpressions. And in the iExpressions audio bundle, it's like you have a few different kind of what we call beat detectors that detect beats in your music. So you have one based on markers and another one where you just give one example beat and others are found. And then you can do stuff with these beats like animating elements according to the beats. And in Beat Assistant you have a different kind of beat detector. Namely Beat Assistant can detect the beats per minute of your song and then do animations according to that. And the new eye expression we have now for the audio bundle is called the beat detector from BPM. And this is like a bridge between the eye expressions audio bundle and beat assistant. So this means you can detect the beats per minute with beat assistant and then use them in eye expressions to create beats that you can then connect to any beat modifier or to, to, to any um, expression that does animations based on beat in the audio bundle. And of course you can also use this eye expression without beat detect uh, without beat assistant in case you know the beats per minute of your song. Yeah? So if you buy stock footage for example often the beats per minute are already given so you can also use this as a standalone tool. Okay that's the addition to the audio bundle and then we have an addition to the movement modifier bundle. So in this bundle so far we had eye expression to smooth movement and also eye expressions to snap a movement to the grid. So this we've shown you a few weeks ago in the Tetris tutorial you find here. Uh, and now we have different modifiers that we call movement modifiers modify at marker. So the idea of these is that at certain markers you can trigger events. So it's like you can modify keyframe properties at markers. And this is for example useful if you say you're rigging a puppet and this puppet should blink with the eyes from time to time. Then you can link this blinking of the eye to the marker such that you can simply put a marker wherever you like and the puppet blinks accordingly. Or as a second example think you about uh, you're compositing an action scene where you have different explosions and stuff like this and on each explosion certain things should happen simultaneously. It's like say uh, so the entire picture should get brighter so you have some color correction at this point where the explosion happens and then there should be a lens flare and then maybe the, a camera shake and then you can simply link all these things, so link the wiggle intensity of the camera shake, link the intensity of your adjustment layer doing the color correction and the brightness of your flare to these markers and then wherever you put a marker you get these effects showing up and uh, so it's very quick to create different instances of these. And what makes this thing even more useful is if we stay with this explosion example one problem is of course that not all explosions have the same intensity. Yeah? And with the marker eye expressions you can simply annotate comments at your marker and write in the marker something like 50% and then all changes linked to this marker will only happen with 50% intensity. Yeah? This means for three explosions you put three markers and on one you annotate nothing and there it will everything will happen to 100% and then at another marker you annotate something like 50% and then all these color correction and uh, lens flares whatever you link to the marker these changes will only happen to the annotated percentage. Okay, if we go in more detail uh, to these um, marker eye expressions we have the change at marker 1D, 2D and 3D to make changes of 
or to link 1D, 2D and 3D properties to such markers. And then we have one additional one that is really special and this is a time remap at marker. And the time remap at marker eye expression allows you to like play back some source footage or play back some pre-comp at each marker. Yeah, it's like you have a, at each marker this clip starts playing a certain range and then stops and goes back to the beginning. And you even have different ways of how to play it. So like ping pong playing it first, first, fourth, and then back, or just playing it and jumping back to the beginning and stuff like this. And this is of course nice if you have some animations like a predefined behaviors of a puppet. Yeah, you have some pre-comp where it starts smiling and stops smiling again, so you can control this. Or you can even play back sounds. Yeah? So imagine you have some sound that should happen whenever your puppet blinks with the eye. Then you can either import your sound and duplicate the layer 100 times and at each blinking you insert this sound. Or you import it just once, have one layer, and link the playback of this layer with the time remap uh, eye expression to the marker, such that the same audio plays on each marker fully automatically. Okay, of course, for these things, again, we have prepared some tutorial you find here, such that you get more details about um, the audio eye expression or about these uh, marker eye expressions. Yeah, that's it already for this week. I hope you enjoy the new eye expressions, take a week time to play with them, and then I'm looking forward to see you next Sunday to present you what other eye expressions are waiting for you then. <laughs>